Right, we had some very good suggestions from some of our followers, and Mr. Stone from the USA was absolutely dead right. One of the oil seals, the front oil seal, was in the right way round if it was a normal engine, but obviously the wrong way round if it's a two-stroke, and so that was a mistake that we made. So that was one thing that was definitely wrong. The next thing, when we got it completely to pieces and looked at it very carefully, number one cylinder was thrusting. So how they never got this engine to run, I don't know. But anyway, so we um, we took a little bit out of the piston so that, you know, obviously it wasn't thrusting. So that was another thing we did. But other than that, there was nothing wrong. None of the piston rings were broken. Wax on the pistons and caused any trouble because it had compression. It had loads of compression. But one of the problems was that it was coming back out of the carburetor as if the timer was wrong. So again, somebody suggested that the engine might be going the wrong way, which is exactly what we thought. We thought, right, we'll have a really good look. But there's no way that the engine could have gone any different to the way it's going because it has to go clockwise. So anyway, so that was right. So in the in the end, we decided having the oil seal on the wrong way round was definitely a problem because obviously it would be sucking air instead of sucking fuel. So anyway, so we put all that right. But in the meantime, prior to this, we'd fitted a uh, reed valve because it was coming back through the carburetor. So we put the reed valve on, but that didn't make any difference at all. So we took that out. And now the final thing is us starting it up. We put it all back together again. You see us starting it up and it will run. But it's still coughing back through the carburetor. Now the ignition system is the standard system was on it, which is two coils, two sets of points. Um, can't really get that wrong. So that was all right. But anyway, so we tried to start it, but you'll see it coughs back through the carburetor. Now, Obviously, that could be ignition, it could be all sorts of things, but we've wasted so much time working on this engine, and now the racing season's starting. You know, there's loads of things for us to do, so we're gonna leave it, and then when we've got a bit more time, we'll go back to it and see if we can get it running nicely. But all your suggestions were really good, because everything you said, virtually, was true. So we dropped a load of mistakes, anyway, Hopefully, this is sufficient to put this behind us for a bit. We've also got this two-stroke carburetor, which comes off of a, a midget engine I've got, which is an Elto midget, which will probably be a bit large, but that might be another thing we're trying. But anyway, that's it behind us for the moment. Right, here we go. We've really struggled with this engine. It's been a nightmare. First of all, we put it together and it wouldn't go at all. And it turned out we'd put the oil seal in the wrong way round, which was our fault, so we know that. But we're not used to two strokes, you see. So anyway, so we did that. And then we put it all back together again. And then we have to get it running. Well, unfortunately, it didn't come with the original carburetor. So we've used the carburetor that I had, which I don't think is necessarily any good. But at least we've managed to get it running. And to be honest with you, I'm getting a bit bored with it, really, because this engine, yo, this engine, we had no trouble with this engine. But anyway, we have actually got a two-stroke carburetor, which when we get a minute to spare, I think we'll, uh, we'll try this. But anyway, we're going to start it up, and uh, you'll see that it runs, and then when we get a little bit more time, We'll have a go at getting it to tune it and try and make it work. But any suggestions, put it in the comments, because, you know, we're in the dark. I hate two strokes now. I never used to. When I used to ride my Ambassador motorbike when I was 16, it was no trouble. But that only had one cylinder, whereas this has got those four cylinders. And to be honest, it's a bloody nightmare. But anyway, we're going to start it up now. And, uh, and then run it for a second. You'll see that it does actually go. And then we'll start this engine, which will start immediately. And obviously this never was an engine, but anyway, let's start the engine. Right, so we're now gonna start the engine. 
John's gonna do the controls and I'm gonna do the throttle. Right, so I'm completely bored with that. We've tried everything. So, there you are. The next step is to spend another month tuning it. But anyway, we will now start the mini engine, which hasn't been started for, I don't know, two or three months? Yeah. This hasn't been started for two or three months. Switch it on, click, 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 you watch. Anyway, so we've got to end, we've got to have, we've got to complete this video. So this is what we're doing, and then we'll come back to this when we've rebuilt the Seabring Sprite, the Panard, and all the other jobs. By then, we'll perhaps pull ourselves together and we'll have a go at this. But till then, that's the best we can do.